What is up YouTube and welcome to this Marvel Secret Empire video. So if you have been reading up on your Marvel and your Secret Empire, you will know that, well, the Marvel Universe is in an incredible state of flux at the moment, as our Hydra Captain America is slowly but surely taking over absolutely everything in the Marvel Universe. He's gone to war with the Black Panther, He's gone to war with Atlantis, and well, he's pretty much taken over the entirety of the continental United States, as well as warning absolutely everyone at the UN to stop, back off, and get out of his way, because he is going to take over, and he does not want any more resistance from anyone. However, his grip on power is slowly but surely fading, as the Black Panther is very very strong of course but his empire is looking for the broken scraps of Kobik. Kobik is actually the cosmic cube that was turned into a little girl gained sentience and then she was destroyed her human form was destroyed and these shards was shred across everywhere falling in Atlantis, uh, Wakanda and other places as well as the kind of, I would say Avengers, but they're not the Avengers. <laughs> the kind of resistance to the Secret Empire and the Hydra Empire are looking for these as well, which led us to a very interesting battle of wits against Hank Pym slash Ultron in the one of the issues just gone. So, what is going on? Because there is the mysterious vanishing point, which is where we have had wow just the the shocking moment that we had got a steve rogers in this vanishing point we have also got a bucky barnes with two arms and we've also got a sam wilson as well as having someone return who well we thought was completely dead but it is actually really the red skull so the red skull is back Similarly, most of the original characters of Captain America are back in, I may say, their original forms. And, well, what the hell is going on? So, originally, I did start to think that this was actually the ultimate version of Steve Rogers' Captain America. Because last we saw Captain America in the Ultimate Universe, he flew a jet right into Galactus and then was not to be found again. Now, perhaps this Steve Rogers is actually going to be a very interesting thing, part of this. This Steve Rogers, I reckon, maybe survived the battle world, survived the merging of all these universes, just like Miles Morales as well, and some of the other, like, Ultimate Thor as well. So, maybe it's been taking his time to actually return to us in Marvel Comics, and now we've got two Steve Rogers, but this does present a bit of a problem here as well we've got we're supposed to have captain america be evil but i think one of the most interesting parts would be captain america fighting himself someone who hasn't been affected by a whole sort of cosmic cube and is actually ready and willing to fight against this oppressor he's come to this earth where well he has seen himself take over absolutely everything However, the vanishing point is going to play a huge, huge role in the upcoming stories of Marvel Generations. So Marvel Generations is going to see the original versions and the modern versions of characters team up together. So we're going to see, obviously, Miles Morales and Peter Parker team up. We're going to see Sam Wilson team up as well with Captain America. We're going to see both Hulks. We're going to see both Thors. So we're going to see all of them work together for what end? We don't know. This is all part of Marvel Legacy, which will be pretty much kickstart. And this is going to be the version... This is going to be DC Rebirth for Marvel, to be honest. I covered that. I covered this a bit more in depth in my other video, so you can check that out on my channel as well. But what is going on here with Steve Rogers? Now, one part which would be pretty interesting is the fact that is the vanishing point one part where the heroes actually go? Is this where, when a hero dies or they are changed, 
Is this where they go and this is where they sit and wait until we have another hero takeover or when they actually return? So all of these characters are pretty much dead. I mean, we've got Winter Soldier killed off. Um, we've still got Sam Wilson, but he's not actually killed off as far as I'm aware. And we've also got Red Skull, who's actually killed off as well. So the question is, who are we actually going to see in these upcoming stories? Because this vanishing point is key, and Steve Rogers will be key to defeating himself. But what we need to know is, why are they coming back? And why is Red Skull seemingly wanting to team with Steve Rogers? And he does actually look like he knows a lot more about what is actually going on than the actual rest of them, to be honest. Which wouldn't put it past him because he seems to know absolutely everything about everything. But I guess when you're an evil dictator, that is what you're supposed to be know, be and supposed to know all about. But I do think, seemingly, what I would run with is the fact that I think the ultimate storyline is a good idea. However, it shows that our original version, our kind of sort of original Earth version of this character of Captain America has is, has been evil all of the time. So we'll still have backlash from everyone angry that the character has been corrupted. However, could this whole thing just be inside a cosmic cube? That is what, that's another theory as well, that they could all be just inside a massive cosmic cube like Kobik or something like that that has been created and she's created the better, the original versions, which is what we're going to be getting back. So who knows? There's a lot to find out. So that is it for this video. Please do drop a like. Please do subscribe. And I'll see you soon. And goodbye.